disappear that fast that means we're probably not going to be flying for a little bit <laughs> you're right that was kind of disney-esque wasn't it just sort of poof it's gone talking about poofs you got uh, john clad up there on the stage today and uh, i know he'd be chopping at the bit to get flying but uh i heard that National Guard jet truck. A 200-pound guy weighed twice that, or 400 pounds, six, uh, three Gs, 600 pounds, and so on. So at, at nine, at 10 Gs, a 200-pound guy weighs a ton. Yeah. 
but the negative trying to throw him forward out when he cuts the cuts the engine off and pops that chute negative how many yeah about six negative g's so it, it's it's quite the ride now okay we're going to look out to our right we see Marilyn. that's neil's wife and crew chief in the yellow corvette the flag's coming down Oh, which can only mean one thing. He's going to spool that truck up and give us a little bit of show this morning. He's, Neil's going to take a good look. I think he's going to get up to speeds of about 300 miles an hour this morning. So, kids, look off to your right if you're not watching. Now we got a little smoke, a little oh fire. Boy. Here we go. Now, he doesn't dare get on the brakes pretty good. How about that? Give him a big round of applause. Neil Darnell. He doesn't dare get on the brakes too quick, does he? Not at all. Once that parachute comes out, Neil is slowed. And like this morning, he's got plenty of runway down there to the left. He's just taking a look. It's a little bit bouncing. Doesn't want to touch the brakes at all until he's almost to a complete The largest stop. aircraft in the inventory of the United States Air Force. It is doing a go-around right now. Galaxy aircraft coming in at a maximum weight of about 850,000 pounds fully loaded and uh, it was down into an, uh, doing an approach and my guess is is that it uh, it was unable to successfully complete that approach to land here or it was just doing a flyby but it doesn't seem to make sense. Standard Greyhound buses. It's got enough fuel for the average American car to make 130 round trips between New York and Los Angeles or 31 trips around the world. Those big engines produce uh, that produce the 41,000 pounds of thrust gulp about 42 tons of air per minute. So we've got one of the C-130 Hercules back on the ground, and let's see if we're going to get the C-5 Galaxy coming in. Four inches with 41,000 pounds of thrust each. 
just about ready to touch down. 28 tires. How'd you like to change a tire on one of those? Now, they'll get on the thruster versus here. You can move up.